Hey everybody, it's Randy with Low Buck LS here again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install the VS Racing 44 millimeter wastegate right on the side of your turbine housing for your turbo. But first, I just wanted to say thanks. I passed the 100 subscriber mark. I think I'm at 108 or 109 subscribers now. So just wanted to say thanks to everybody who's taken the time to watch these videos and subscribe and comment. I really appreciate it and I will try and do a better job of uh, posting a little more regularly throughout the winter here. And uh, also wanted to say uh, Merry Christmas. It's about a week away from uh, Christmas in uh, December 2018 here. So uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. And now we'll hop over to the shop and I'll show you how uh, to install that VS Racing 44 millimeter wastegate. Okay, so I got a VS Racing 44 millimeter wastegate from uh, VS Racing, obviously. And I'm gonna, I've seen this on like Sloppy Mechanics and a couple of other websites. I'm gonna cut a hole in the turbo exhaust housing there and basically weld this on right here. And then the other tube of the wastegate is just gonna exit right out the fender. So uh, just gonna let the turbo cool down a bit more. In the meantime, we'll work on uh, the boost line going to the wastegate is gonna tie in down here so we'll work on getting that fitting put in while we're waiting for the turbo to cool down so talk to you in a bit okay so i've got the turbo uh the center section pulled out of the exhaust housing i've got marked where i'm gonna drill my hole here and i got the downpipe taken off so i'm going to use this drill and hole saw and knock out a hole in the uh, exhaust housing there for the wastegate so I got that hole uh, cut in the uh, turbo exhaust housing and I see there's a bunch of chips and stuff in there so I'm going to pull that uh, turbo housing off the manifold and clean it all out and then tack the V-band for the wastegate onto that turbo housing. And... Oh, there's my downpipe falling underneath the truck. Um, but yeah, we'll tack the... Uh, v-band for the uh, wastegate onto the turbo housing here and get her welded up okay so i got the turbo back in I've, i welded a short chunk of uh, just exhaust pipe here for the wastegate and then the v-band for the wastegate and the wastegate's going to go on right there and then i'll punch a hole in the uh, fender well down there and just exit the the wastegate exhaust right out into the fender well above the tire. Okay, so I've cut a hole in my, let me just move so you can see it better here. I cut a hole in my inner fender well right there and welded up just a little chunk of, I think it's inch and three quarter exhaust pipe to go on the bottom, bottom of the uh, wastegate here. So we'll get that wastegate in and bolt it together and uh, get the tubing line hooked up to it and take it for a test drive. Okay, so wastegate is in. I got that hole in the fender for the exhaust to exit, and I've got this hose on. I had to put this little brass T fitting deal on there to uh, have another point to take boost pressure off of, and that runs over and uh, actuates the wastegate. I've just got the low, like four pound spring in there because I just want to run at low boost for now. So, and then I still got to figure out, I got to mount this coolant tank more securely. So, but uh, wastegate is on. So we're going to fire it up and take it for a test drive and let you know how it does in the next video. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. 